Alright, we need to kick the Witcher. Gandalf 0271. Blood. Blood everywhere. Okay. Decent. Okay. Uh, this seems like it's gonna be one of those cases we're gonna just play a lot so of weak units life. and pass Weapons after we play pre cards. We'll follow you always into the fair. They can hide, but there is no escape. That was not too powerful. The mother goddess, she giveth and taketh away. After applying card backs, stay the same. I'm just wondering if it's a bug. Could be. But it's not a major bug, so... If, it, if it's instead... It, it, well, indeed a bug, then I'm not too oh, boy, worried about God it, it currently. May Freya choose the victor. Oh, Juta. So he's in the lead by 13 points. I'm just gonna pass. I remember you playing your trap deck during close beta. That was cool too. That was so long ago. <laughs> uh, we need to kick the Witcher. I can't really work the Mulligan too much here. It's probably gonna be Dobratana Sentry. Well, we gotta play the Witchers for sure. Time I taught you some respect. Ooh. Oh, that's odd because, well, I'm not sure what to do with that. <laughs> what if? Count Coldwell gets killed by the Dobratana Sentry by him moving scatter. around all the time. <laughs> no. This is so bad. Okay guys, this might be the time you lose. I don't have Ragnarok. And also, this Jorvitz Gamp is pretty bad. I did fight Ice uh, in the past, and they always proved to be very difficult to beat. Or you just passed. Not a make me proud. Bring them hell. An ill wind blows. Oh, don't use more. Give me Ragnarok. No. Oh my god. No. So, we are throwing away. If you can have a choice of what traps you want to play with Jorvitz Gambit, it always should be Crushing Trap. So you can play Jorvitz Gambit one before last, and you get two Crushing Traps. He didn't get the perfect time. So let's just go. And you can pray for Ragnarok as well. That's what we do. It's kind of a Satanist cult in a way. 
But um, we have dwarves and elves, so it's all cool. No Ragnarok for us. But this should be still okay. Skadi is a bit more dangerous because uh, they tend to play big units too. Yeah, let's play Pafko. Pafko is a bit more resistant to most removal because most removal tends to be capped at 4. So if they have a Chiron Axe, like Chiron, well, I'm mostly thinking about Chiron Axe, but uh. Cross the wide somber sea, I will save. He's a very common removal. I just play the smuggler. It's not really what we want to hit. I'm just gonna hit the scald. We want to hit anything that's a 5 or higher. Behold the goddess's wrath! I'm just using the hits because we don't really have much choice. He did use two of the guys that he has to dump on the melee row. Uh, of course, uh... It's, okay, I, I have to check. So, Ceres actually goes to a random row. Instead of melee. Which is generally the preference of Skellige units. I feel like I'm playing crack. I'm just making everything damaged. Mm, you can just play the horn. It is worth considering playing the pitfall trap as your first trap, because if the op opponent has any way, any card counter, uh, any trap counter, then he's probably gonna like, oh my god, I'm gonna smash that. Then the pitfall trap kills that. Uh, it's not a huge concern because, like for example, monsters tend to have. Uh, Maybe a trap counter. It's probably the faction specific trap counter if they have anything. So, monsters often have Nitral, I believe that's how he's called. But, yeah. I'm not sure others really have something. Thank you, but it's just a general me? tip. <laughs> Yeah. Only death here I'm just gonna play two Elven Scouts, then Pitfall Trap, most likely. <laughs> the Brewer movement is not too valuable here. Maybe I'm just killing this guy and moving Saris. Over that. Well, that kind of just uh, provided a good target for Bruver. I don't really value. Well. Like, trying to pretend this trap to be something else doesn't really matter. The position Sorry, doesn't man. matter. Boost all warrior allies. Sure. Can't really get a lot of value. Maybe just try to kill the armor smith. Next, we play the Crushing Trap. Then we play the Dra Dragoon and we just move a bunch of stuff. 
And we still don't have a target for Puffco. What the fuck, Puffco? <laughs> no good target. But this guy might just boost, so we're just gonna hit him. I could have killed him. Yeah, that was strong. Mind that. So we're hitting Hamdal. Uh, let's move this guy into the front. Maybe move Pafko into the front. Then, them. move Ceres to the front. Delete them all! Question is, what's his last card? Yeah, but... Oh, actually, that could be extremely powerful. It's a big swing. Don't you pester me. Never mind that. But it's like super weak compared to what we got. But maybe I should have respected that card a little bit more. I could have killed Hamdal. Not like it mattered, but GG. Yeah, Asko needs to go away. And Vesemir. And we didn't get Roach. What the hell? I never mind that. What the fuck with his voice? It it's a bug, sometimes happens. Just boost stuff. Yeah, that's no good. Onward, head. What the fuck, Draner? Why are you so good? <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to go with an archer here. Just to delete the uh, Drowner, then we can play the Witcher. The current strategy is Tempo Pass. Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> you never mind that. Now that's the kind of negotiation I understand. Mm. After this, we really plan on passing. 19 point lead. We don't have any value generation. Could have some. Okay, pass. So he needs to play 12 points. That only works if he has a old spear tip or he has witchers with roach. But no, that doesn't work. Because he already played the gold card. So it's witchers. A witcher doesn't work unless he plays his hero power. In which case, I'm totally into that. But, uh, yeah. Or it's gotta be Old Spear Tip. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I was right. If there was a card that was only 11 points, that would have been enough as well. Because of the... The Drowner. Driving. Now having access to Double Trap would be the best. Maybe I should kick that. He might play one unit here, but I would suspect that he's not too into playing in this round. 
Well, I'm just... Never mind that. He's banishing his most powerful unit to try to... Why would you start with that? Is there a chance in hell that he's passing after this? I don't think so. So he's basically giving me the message that I'm gonna push you, sonny boy. So we gotta play some value generation. But I don't really understand what is how he's how he intends to win the game. Just hit that. May your sword and arm be one. He just played his single biggest power swing. Oh, it's probably some kind of a grave hag deck. That must be it. Else it makes no sense. I do plan to play the horn very soon. Don't teach your grandma to suck what? Eggs. I can play the crushing trap, but it actually only provides 8 value. So that's gonna blow up. There's no one thing I can play that really takes it. Wait, wait, he goes down to 19. No, there's no one thing I can play that takes it. But I can take it in two turns. He doesn't pass now, I would be surprised. And he's probably gonna be pretty surprised when he loses the card. Yeah, that's a really good pass. But the problem is, I can't pass, I have to play a card. I can just like, yeah, just ping that, the, you know, the fire rains on him, but that doesn't work. On turn start. Always. So, he got, well, I don't know, he pushed me, it was fairly effective. It was basically godlike. Oh, never mind, I actually fucked it up. Yeah, I could have just Brewered to force a card advantage. Them. You should have done that. Uh, in my case. Anybody in the chat. Playing a Brewer there to gain a card advantage would have uh, obviously worth it. Nice. 
Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Does he have a grave hag? Why that? Okay, I just play the Elven Scout. Can I set up my Yorvitz Gambit in such a way that the grave hag gets killed? Yeah. He's smart because the chance that he gets blown up by a pitfall trap is pretty high. Very interactive gameplay here. That one card that we missed on by not using Groover Hog probably mattered. Can hit that. Do I just save your vet for later? Or just don't care? I am who I need to be. I'll just uh, play a pit trap here. Then we play Yorvis Gambit. Double crushing trap. Uh, this should be just moved into the front. Ripping peace, Necker. It was your time. That did make his graveyard have more units. So we are really min-maxing this shit. <laughs> Not good. I should not use the uh, the Swordmaster here. There's nothing to use it on. Well, never mind that. So this gets moved in. This gets moved in. Wait, what? Mr. Mr. Greedy Pants is gonna get fucking owned. Guess what's gonna happen now? That's what? <laughs> no, how do you say that? What now? I would make a good slave. That you go fuck yourself, mate. I think he miscalculated here. <laughs> hey Adam, did you try mail in the seasonal mode yet? I have not. I'm not that evil. But it's an interesting concept, the new seasonal mode. Uh, I will give it a more serious shot later. Anyway, GG mate.